So the conditions that we typically see in, in the back, uh, first of all, uh, trauma. That would be like a uh, car wreck. You can break the bone or you can injure the disc. That's, that's uh, the breaking the bone is a very dramatic injury. If I see you, I'm likely to see you in the hospital and we, we just simply have to go from there. If you injure a disc, the most common one that people know about is a ruptured disc. And that means that, again, that means this disc material that's soft in the middle with use has actually ruptured out the back. And it would be like this. If I put pressure on this disc, you notice that that disc material squeezes out. The nerves are back there too, and this could be quite painful. And that's a condition that if we can't resolve it non-surgically, or if the pain is too intense, uh, surgery is an option, and it it's, uh, can be a good option for, for something like this. Another common problem with the spine are what's, what are called bad discs, degenerative discs. Um, and that's a condition more of the disc either being injured and it wears out uh, too fast, excessively fast. Or even over time, uh, all of us uh, wear and tear a bit. And those discs undergo uh, changes, which essentially look very similar to, the, uh, to, to an injured disc that wears out. And that is more on the situation where that disc over time settles down. If you look at this particular segment one more time, here's the disc in between the bones. That disc not only cushions the bones, it does something else. It opens the bones and holds them apart. It allows the nerve to go through with a lot of, of room. But what if that disc wasn't there? What if it collapsed down? Then the hole right here also collapses down. And if it wears out over time, then that covering, the annulus, protrudes also encroaching on this area, and that is a form of spinal stenosis. This model right here will show a bone, disc, bone, disc, and so forth. And you notice the disc hold the bones apart. They open up for each nerve hole. This one right here where my finger is, is a model where the, that disc is out. And if it's gone and degenerates and settles down, then the hole where that nerve goes through also has to settle down. And the little joint in the back, if you remember that facet joint, has to sublux. The bones can't come together and the facet joints stay the same as they normally were the way you were born with. They also sublux, and that becomes a piece of the painful problem too.